So I, I just kind of did a thing. And you know, part of me is ashamed to admit this out, out loud. And the other part of me is like, girl please. Um, yeah, I spent $160 on some popcorn. I, I, know, I know it sounds crazy, I know it sounds crazy, but the popcorn, popcorn comes from Garrett's in Chicago. It's the caramel popcorn. It is just the best popcorn <laughs> that you'll ever eat. And I cannot wait for it to get here, for me to sit in the middle of my bed and just gorge out on popcorn. from Betty and Brenda and welcome back welcome back welcome back to my channel for another video if you're already a subscriber if you are new here thank you so much for clicking on my video and be sure that you click that subscribe the subscribe button and join me on a weekly basis as I make bath and body products don't forget to click the notification bell that way you'll know every time I put out a video and of course follow me on Instagram and or Facebook at Betty and Brenda Bath Co. Okay, so now we got all of that out of the way. Let's talk about the soap I'm making today. It's a pretty simple soap. Um, simple to make, but wonderful for your skin. It is a lavender and oatmeal soap. So it's, it's gonna be just a, pretty much the, um, the base color of the soap. I am gonna drop in a light purple and a darker purple just for, you know, something to look at in the soap, just for some pretty swirls. But I have put um, quite a bit of colloidal oatmeal in my oil and I can't wait to use this bar when it's ready. And also, I have um, put some tussa silk in my lye water. It is the first time I have ever used tussa silk. And I've heard that it does wonders for your soap. So I wasn't quite sure how much to put in here, but I put a little and I'm going to see if it actually makes a difference to the feel of the bar. So the Tuss of Silk plus that oatmeal, can't wait to actually get this on my skin. So as I mentioned, I am going to use just a little bit of purple in there, a little light purple and a little dark purple. And I used um, Pow Pow Purple from Mad Micah's as the purple. So just a little bit in one, a little more in the other to get that purple color. And I am um, scenting it with some lavender essential oil. So like I said, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And for my soap recipe today, I'm using avocado oil, castor oil, and rice bran oil. And then from for my hard butters and oils, I'm using Babasu. I have some mango butter in here, some shea butter, and um, some cocoa butter. So I have everything here. Everything is ready. The actual recipe that I'm using is in the description box if you'd like to check that out. But I got my gloves on, have my mask around my neck. I'm going to grab my glasses and let's get ready to make some soap.
for you. The lovers we go to. To be what you gonna do. Diamonds and pearls. So it's actually been about three days since I made this soap. I, <laughs> I don't know what's going on with me lately, but I have just been forgetting that I made a soap. And I know that sounds insane, but I think because I'm doing so many other things, I'm like trying to 
build out my plan for next year. I'm, you know, starting to make my shower steamers and other bath bombs, and I'm doing so much along with trying to get my uh, Christmas shopping done because I'm behind in that. I will make the soap, I'll put it back there and you know, the room where I keep them, and then I forget. So yeah, it's been about three days, but it, it's still, it's not too hard for me to cut it yet. And you saw when I was making it, I ended up putting a gold mica drizzle on the top. And I, I just couldn't leave well enough alone. I had to do something extra. Then I ended up not liking the gold mica drizzle. So then I ended up scooping that over to the side. Then I didn't really care for how that looked. So I ended up putting some biodegradable glitter on the top of it. And you know, it, it, it looks cute now. I, you know what, I had to keep messing with it until I got it to a point where I really liked it. So here we are, it's on the cutting board now. And uh, we're gonna get in here and see what it looks like. Let's get in here and see what we have. And you know, I have the, the lavender, I put lavender buds on it and I have that side down to decrease the risk of drag marks. Okay, and I got that first piece out of there. Let's move on to the real piece. Here we go. And here we go. And actually it turned out really well with the two different uh, purples in there. I can definitely see the lighter purple here and then you have the darker purple on that side. And here is the top. And it's really, really cute. You know, I just couldn't leave it plain. I don't, <laughs> I don't know why, but I, I just cannot leave a soap just plain on the top. It, it has to have some type of pizzazz to it. And like I said, I'm changing up my soap recipes and remembering why I started doing this in the first place. And that was to make products that were, you know, really good and better for your body. And my soaps always, you know, had really good ingredients in it. And here's another one. But I, I thought I knew I could do better. You know, I started getting into making them pretty and not concentrating so much on how to keep making them better for the body, which is why I said I was going to start adding um, either avocado butter, avocado oil, or both in all of my products, not just my soaps because of the benefits that avocado has for you. And I'm not gonna you know, really get into it, but you can definitely go and Google it and see the different benefits that it has for you. And I'm also going to start adding sesame seed oil to my soaps as well for that same reason, just for the amazing benefits that it has for your skin. In addition to that, I am starting to make moisture, um, moisture bombs. Uh, so it's a bath bomb basically that has more oils and butters in them that will help to, that will um, benefit your skin more when it's in the water rather than to just look pretty with a pretty colors floating on top of the water. And then I'm gonna make also a soothing bath bomb, which will have the Epsom salt in it. And you know, Epsom salt is good for just tired uh, muscles and soreness and achiness. So I'm gonna make those as well because I'm gonna get back to the roots of why I started this business in the first place. And like I said, it's, you know, it's just to better your skin and to to make things that are better for your skin. So, soaps are still gonna be pretty, but not just pretty soap. It's going to be pretty with a purpose of making your skin feel better. And here we go again. You see, I just did the drop swirl. I didn't, you know, chopstick swirl it or do a hanger swirl, and those drop swirls are just as pretty as the others. And you can see, I'm looking at the very top there. I don't know if you can see, you can see, I hope that's picking up on the camera, but you can see a little bit of that gold mica drizzle that I put in the top there. 
And if you like lavender, man, it's very lavendery. <laughs> so it smells really, really good. I cannot wait to use this, especially because it had the tuss of soap in it and all of the oatmeal that I put in here. This, this soap right here is going to feel so good. And it is available or will be available. I'm sorry, it's not available yet. Um, well, it's going to be available on January 30th, so it, I guess it just depends on when I release this video. But it's going to be available on January 30th, so definitely go out there and get you a bar of this. You can click the link in my description box, and it will take you to this particular soap. That is, if it's already January 30th. If it's not already January 30th, then on January 30th, go out to BettyAndBrenda.com look under soaps and you can purchase this bar and just this last piece here don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell so you'll know every time I put out a new video and uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram and or Facebook at Betty and Brenda bath prod and of course if you like this soap please click that like button and this is my lavender and oatmeal soap and I will see you guys or talk to you guys next time with my next bath and body project bye